best of Girl Chat Show. We always have a good laugh at the table, even when our topics start off a little more serious, mm. like this one, where Yvette Nicole Brown joined Girl Chat, and what started as a conversation about dating outside of your race ended up with Lonnie on the floor. <laughs> yup. Watch this. Wow. Like Kamala, have you ever had to deal with someone trying to question the authenticity of your race? Dang, with like all this, all this melanin, no, it has never happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> Abundantly clear that I am a black woman. <laughs> and I think they only do that with black people. Like this one thing, first of all, we're not cute enough, perfect enough, all of that. And then when we try to advance, we have to prove that we're black, which are all the things that they say we shouldn't be. Mm. Right. So I'm just confused by it. I don't understand it. And may I say this about my soror, Kamala Harris, she went to Howard University and pledged Alpha Kappa Alpha. You don't get no blacker than that. <laughs> Yeah. She's black. Yeah. She's black. She's yeah. black. Well, if you're talking about, there's a difference between black people. Black people, because I looked up the term, is used socially for um, uh, racial classification in certain countries. So she would be black. If you're talking about blackness, that is a word that's used to describe a persona or emotional bonding experience with the black culture. Mm. I do think, in all due respect, that people are questioning her blackness mm -hmm. because of some of the things that she has done in her past when she was a prosecutor. And I think that's what people are talking about when it comes to prison reform well, um, and with her being married to a white man. I have to say this, me being a person dating a white man, that is about compatibility. That is not about blackness. Yes. Because let me tell you something, don't get it twisted. All day long, I will take off my wig and put up my fist and fight for my people. Understand that. Yeah, like I don't get how they would, how dating someone white would make you less black. Right. I, I, the I, other thing I that I can know. say about black women dating white men, nobody starts there for the most part. We give a lot of chances. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I have never, I'm gonna say it, I have never dated outside of my race ever. I've always been down for the brown. But if y'all see me with an other, I don't wanna hear nothing yeah. from no I and I love my brothers. It's all right. I love my brothers. I love my brothers. But I'm saying, I'm saying, am I lying? Am I lying though? Hey, and just because girl, you are now no, compatible so with somebody, that's why it doesn't mean you don't love <laughs> am I lying? your brothers. I've been dating black men for 47 years. There's the one white man, and y'all gonna try to talk, talk. No, it's about compat. I gotta stay on my knees about this. <laughs> I love my brothers. I love my brothers. We love our brothers, yeah. but it's about when we're talking about that, because let's be real, we're talking about they've been giving grief to Serena Williams. Yep. You know, they've been giving grief to anybody that's prominent that has been dating outside of their race. Well, I'm gonna tell you, when it comes to love, it's about compatibility, especially yes. when you get in them for yes. <laughs> Join yeah. us that day. You like, keep it so real.